Hi guys, you're on VRM24.com and today we're going to assemble Xiaomi Redmi Note 13 Pro 5G. First of all, we need to remove the card tray. Please note that the microphone hole is located next to the card tray. And we gently push out the card tray. If the tray doesn't come out well, we can additionally use tweezers. Then we need to heat the surface of the back core to approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes, we can move on to detaching the back core. To detach the back core, we first use a thin metal tool to lift the back cover slightly because we have the back cover recessed into the middle cover. We gently lift it up, insert a thin plastic film into the hole and then use the thin plastic film to cut all the adhesive backing and thus detach the back cover. As always, we need to be careful in the camera area so that we don't accidentally damage the lenses. And so we open the back cover, so we can see we have only the gasket presented on the back cover. After that, we move on to unscrewing the screws on the top part. For this we use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash tool. If the screws are not coming out well, we can use a magnetizer. If the screws get stuck, we can additionally use tweezers. And after removing the screws, we can move on to detaching the top cover. We find the right place where we can hook, lift and remove the cover. Then, with a non-metallic tool, we disconnect the two battery connectors. And we can move on to removing the screws of the bottom part. To unscrew the screws, we also use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash trio. At the same time, we can remove the connector bracket, disconnect the interboard cable connector and continue unscrewing the screws in the bottom part. As usual, we place the screws on a special surface so as not to lose them. After that, we can disconnect the cover with a loudspeaker. We carefully hook and lift the cover. Please note that in the cover with the speaker we also have a small antenna board. So we need to detach the speaker cover and disconnect the coaxial cable that is attached to this small board. Then we disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector, disconnect the connector of the second coaxial cable, release the cable itself, and we can move on to detaching the subboard. Still, in the same way, we need to find the right place where we can carefully lift the subboard. We gently pry it up, as we can see the subboard is slightly recessed, and remove it. On the subboard we have charging port, microphone and on the back side a card connector. And in the display frame remains the fingerprint sensor and vibration motor. And now a quick test of the microphone hole. The microphone hole is located in the display frame, has an L shape and comes out of the subboard. The body of the microphone is located on the back side of the microphone hole, so even if we insert something into the microphone hole, we can't damage the microphone. And we move on to disconnecting the interboard cable connector. Disconnecting the display cable connector and disconnect the second coaxial cable connector on the motherboard. Then we can detach the cameras. First, we remove the rear cameras. It is better to hold the camera slightly so that they don't accidentally fly out and we don't damage the lenses. We also need to pay attention that the cameras may be glued by the base 
to the display frame. So we need to be really careful not to accidentally damage anything when detaching the cameras. We can also detach the front camera. Please note that this model has a bracket on the rear camera connector. First we detach the bracket, disconnect the front camera connector and then we detach the front camera itself. And we can detach the motherboard. We still need to find a place where we can pry to lift and remove the motherboard. We make sure that nothing is in our way, neither cables nor connectors. Carefully lift and remove the motherboard. On the motherboard we have a second microphone and headset port. In the display frame there is the earpiece speaker and buttons. And we move on to detaching the battery. Traditionally we have two brown tabs which we need to unfold. Read the description in what sequence and what exactly we should pull. As we understand from the description, we have to unfold the tab that is located in the middle to the side. And the tab that is located on the edges should be pulled upwards. And we easily remove the battery. Under the battery there is a transparent protective coating protecting the interboard cables. So this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself, and until next video.